ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை டுட்டோரியல் இந்த சாலமக்க டுட்டோரியல் வில் சி ஹவு டு கிரியேட் பிளேட் வித் ஓல் ஜாமெண்ட்ரி ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அவர் ஜாமெண்ட்ரி அ டைமென்ஷன் வி ஆர் கிவன் ஹியர் அண்ட் த மிஷிங் திஸ் இஸ் த டைப் ஆஃப் மிஷ் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் ஓன் ஐம் ஜோயிங் டு கிரியேட் ஹியர் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி வில் சி ஹவு டு கன்வெர்ட் அ லீனியர் குவாட் எலமெண்ட் இன் டு குவாட்ராட்டிக் குவாட் எலமெண்ட் Let's get started. Now, first open this Alamaka. So, I have placed this Alamaka software here. So, open the terminal and put the command, put this command and enter it. Alamaka is the uh, uh, free and open source uh, finite element software which is uh, much capable of solving most of the finite element analysis problems now software is get opened first just go to geometry model here so first just check with the geometry so our length of this geometry is 0.2 and with this 0.1 go to new entity basic will create we can create a rectangle using point and lines and we, we have directly a 2d sketch so directly we can create a rectangle by using this option so this coordinate is 0 0 this x coordinate is 0.2 this y coordinate is 0.1 you can see this is a rectangle it's going to create apply and close now we have create this rectangle now build the face for this rectangle go to new entity build face now it has built the face apply and close now we have created the face after we have created a 2d face rectangle now we just want to create a circle here so for that just go to new entity basic point so we just want to specify the coordinate x is 0.1 y is 0.05 apply and close now we just want to create a circle here this is a vertex so vector is normal to z axis and radius we have to specify it here i have specified as a diameter of 0.05 so that means <coughs> radius is 0.025 apply and close now again build the face for this circle apply and close now we just want to remove the circular object from this plate for that use the operation is called boolean operation go to operation boolean cut here our main object is face one actually now tool object is face two this is a phase 2 and apply and close now you can see we have created the plate with the wall so now we have created the plate with wall now uh, then we just want to create a mesh for that this is our object just go to mesh go to mesh create mesh now we want to create quadra quadra quad mesh then only wide discretization number of segments always give uh, even numbers instead of odd numbers i'm giving 14 apply and close apply and close right click this mesh compute now this is way the mesh has created this is quad element only but the mesh are more distorted and uh, very coarse by increasing the mesh uh, go to edit mesh only instead of 14 i just doubling the value 28 apply and close apply and close right click compute now again you can see it uh 
it has created a quad mesh but little distorted but the mesh is not a proper pattern uh, to get the proper pattern of this mesh like this like this we just want to divide the geometry into quad quad edges for that just go to geometry so this is a, it's not a quad face uh, edges first uh, go to new entity lines use this point and this point apply again we just want to create one more line using this point and this point apply and close now you can see every now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide our geometry into quad face surfaces quad so you can check with this quad edges I mean quad edge surfaces so see this face after dividing it this face will have only four edges one two three four similarly this face one two three four similarly this face one two three four similarly like this so if you divide this like in that way we can generate easily a quad element so now I will create the line now go to operation partition object is the cut one and tool object is this two lines now apply and close now you can see I'm just giving so only so now you can see our geometry is just partitioned it are splitted into a uh, four edge faces now trying to create um, now I'm going to try to create a mesh mesh so the partition one go to mesh create mesh this is quadrangle mapping 1d use wire discretization Num use different number of segments so number of segments provide 14 apply and close now again give apply and close now mesh 2 is the current mesh right click and compute now you can see there is a patterned mesh here but there is small uh, triad element generated here because there is a two edge here for that go to geometry create group edges here we just check there is only one edge but here check with that there is a two edge so just create a two into small group as a edge group now again go to mesh to geometry model mesh model now just create a sub mesh now sub mesh geometry is this group one wire discretization number of segment is make it seven apply and close now again right click it compute now you can see there is a proper pattern mesh we have generated here so this is a back surface actually this is a back surface the front surface now we have generated the mesh now we will check what type of element is this now we just go for here add node here you can check it this is a linear quad element if you want to convert this linear quad element to quadratic there is an option called convert to from quadratic just before that just choose the mesh which one you want to convert then go to convert to linear convert to from quadratic then apply and close now again go to modification add node now you can check there is a one more node which is added in between the edges so this is a quadratic element so in this tutorial we have learned how to create a geometry using salam geometry model then we have partitioned we have learned how to partition our geometry model to create a quad mesh then we have created a quad quad mesh and we have learned how to create sub mesh also so thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel for more videos
Thank you.